J Drone here. What's going on, guys? We've got the T8SG Lite there, T8SG Plus right there. Just for comparison, I'm going to show you how to bind the XK X100 to it. That is this drone. It did have a canopy on it. Very simply, just pull the pins out of the side of the canopy. It'll come off. Uh, I will tell you that the protocol, um, the Fatuba, I believe it's called, protocol that's used on the Plus and this one are slightly different. So if you have this bound to that and you want to take out a smaller controller with you, you're going to have to follow this video because it binds a little bit differently uh, not that it binds a little bit differently but you have to set up the mixers a little bit differently um, as you can see here I have my plugs just about already attached that way when I hold this bind button which is back here hold the bind button I can just connect these and then it goes into red I already have this on the XK setting the Fatuba so I'm going to turn this on and automatically you see we get all my lights i will walk you through exactly how we did this though um so let's go ahead and go into here so essentially what you would do is do what we did first press that biden button and you'll get all red lights they won't go solid when you turn it on because you need to go through all this and do this you need to hit enter which i'm hitting right there model menu model setup you are going to go to load and on the first one here we are going to go down and we'll delete whatever is there we'll type in xkx100 and then we'll go down here make sure that's on multi um default icon as you can see up here is fine it shows as a multi-rotor and then uh tx power 150 that's fine and then we need to find s f h s s and then again all red lights are lit disregard the green ones you are going to hit enter and then you will get the green and blues so let's go into our mixers let's show you what you need to do into the mixers on this one again this will differ from the plus to this one uh, on the mixers we need to actually reverse our second channel and then we need to go down to here and on our sixth channel we need to click enter normally it'll say none and then just click simple go down here set your switch i have the switch set to that one and then uh click save and then we do the same thing with whoop go back um channel five channel six let's see so channel five and six i'm sorry and i don't know why let's see sorry about that okay that should be fine so channel five and then channel six both need to be set and basically what that does is uh with both these up you're in stabilized mode like i'll go ahead and lift off which trying to fly in front of the camera here isn't going to work too well. it's in stabilized mode Moving it back, it's going back, moving it left, it's going left, moving it forward, it's going forward, yawing right, it's going right, yawing left, it's going left, so it's good, and then if you go ahead and, which this switch was flicked down, that's why I wasn't able to do it, we were actually in acro, so all switches up, normal flight mode, this switch down, you're in acro, if you flip this switch down, it goes into 3D mode, but as you can see, it's not taking off. Um, it doesn't quite work well, so we're going to keep that up there. Let's see if I can stabilize this, and probably not. No. Um, but that that's it, guys. Uh, a little, little clown around here towards the end, but that's how you set it up with T8SG Lite. Um, why would you want to get the Lite versus uh, the, the Plus? If you're running Fry Sky, this has a lot of your Fry Skies in there, um, and it's also a smaller transmitter, so bam. You can take a smaller pack with that versus a bigger pack with that one. Um, and again, it'll it'll bind to certain things, but uh, it, it's it's more geared towards a beginner or a um, Fry Sky flyer that wants a smaller controller. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Any questions, comments, concerns down below, definitely get at me. Later.